Welcome to our homestead, everyone. We are in front of our raspberry patch, and it's time to prune right now. And if you don't prune, these two things are going to happen. I'm gonna tell you exactly what those are and how to prune your raspberries in this video I made a few short years ago. See you in a few minutes. So there are two big reasons why you have to prune your raspberries every single year. Reason number one is because you need to clear out all of the old dead wood that isn't going to produce anymore. That will free up room for everything else to grow properly and you will get better fruit. Reason number two is raspberries, if you let them go too long, will tip root. And if you can see right here, this is actually my Swiss chard and kale planting bed. I have got raspberries that have come from the raspberry patch and tip rooted into my bed over here. I will be digging these out and giving them to friends, but this is a huge reason why you've got to prune. Prune, prune, prune. Raspberries will get out of control. So since we have such a long growing season down here in zone 8B in Texas, these raspberries get out of control. You can see all of them vining out and trying to root. And look at this, this one has rooted over here with our collard greens, come all the way across the aisle and rooted. So you have to prune these back as quickly as you possibly can, or they will get just out of control. But you have to resist the temptation to prune too early. And here's why. Until your raspberries go dormant in the wintertime, they are still sending carbohydrates, sugars down to your root system. You want that root system to flourish and grow and get all of the nutrients it possibly can to be as healthy as it possibly can by the end of the year when everything goes dormant. So the best times to prune your raspberries are between January and March. And for this job, you're only going to need two things a nice thick pair of leather gloves, and your pruning shears. So what I'm gonna be pruning first is called a spent floricane. This was our fruiting cane from this past season. And it stopped fruiting in late summer and then died off because it is now two seasons old. What comes up first is a primocane, and I'll show you how to prune those in just a minute. But this one, we're gonna cut back directly to the ground because it has gone through its full life cycle. We're simply gonna follow those spent floricanes all the way down to our ground and clip them off. They are done. They go in the compost pile. So let me show you the difference between the two. This is our spent floricane from this past year. You can see the bark is grayish, it is flaky, and it is pretty much all dead. And this is a primocane that came up from uh, this season and gave us some fruit and it will turn into a floricane next year and give us even more fruit from it. Do your best to clip these off as close to the ground as you can. Then we're just gonna pull these out of our patch and discard them. So the next important step you wanna take is to get your row back to its original shape. And that means about a 18 to 24 inch wide row of your raspberries. As you saw earlier, they have traveled and gotten into my other bed. So I need to take all that new growth off, everything that came out and is growing outside of my row, I need to get rid of because like I said, they get out of control really quickly. Here's an example of the tip of one of the smallest uh, vines here wanting to root. And this rooted actually right underneath our weed fabric. So this is why you've got to prune these things and keep on top of them. Here's another example of how things can get out of control quickly. You see these new primocanes coming up. They are well outside of our wire here, which uh, delineates where our bed is. They're outside of the wire and they're pushing back our weed fabric. So I'm gonna trim as many out of here as I possibly can to not harm my patch, but so I can keep it under control. Now here are two very large primocanes that came up this past season, and they will turn into our floricanes next season. However, 
we have to trim them. We're gonna trim them at about four to five feet in height. We've got them on the exterior of our trellis system here. If you haven't seen us build this trellis system for this raspberry bush, go click right up here right now. But this holds them out at the edges of our uh, patch here and gives a nice amount of air and uh, sun circulation, you know, light in the center of the raspberry patch and good air circulation. So we are going to cut these off at about that height. Now here's one that we did right here and let me show you what is happening to it right now. So as you can see, this is one and we actually cut off earlier in the season, kind of to show you in anticipation of doing this video, what's going to go on with it and how it's going to, this primocane is going to turn into that floricane. So you see, we've got new growth coming in, in certain points on here. And that is going to put out some vegetative growth and it will fruit out and flower out and give us our fruit on the good upper third of this primocane, which will be our floricane this coming season. So here's our last step or last rule of thumb. There's something we need to do. We need to prune out everything that is smaller than pencil thickness. Prune out all this little stuff. It is not going to fruit very well if it does at all. It's going to have some vegetation on it, but what that's going to do is just rob from or rob energy from the rest of the crown and from those bigger primocanes and floricanes that we really need to produce the next year. So get all the small stuff out of here and thin it out. So what I like to do after I get the small stuff out of here is to be left with three to four large pencil sized primocanes per lineal foot. So as you can see, we've got about half of our raspberry patch pruned out and ready for next season. Just remember those four steps that we talked about throughout the video. Prune anything smaller than a pencil. Prune your spent floricanes. Prune or tip prune your primocanes that are gonna be your floricanes next season. And the fourth one, trim back your row so it stays manageable. So remember, your fall bearing raspberries are a little bit different than your summer bearing raspberries. They will produce on your floricanes in the summer, on the tips of your primocanes in the late summer, early fall, and then on the lower portion of your primocanes the next season. Well, we hope that was helpful for you and that it answered all of your questions about how to properly prune your raspberries. If you have any questions for us, please leave them for me in the comment section below the video. And don't forget, all of the tools we recommend, like these Felco number no. fives, are listed in the description below the video. These are the best pruners I've ever used. Now, if you're in my zone, hurry up and get this done right now. Now go check out this video right here, which is our video on how we make an amazing raspberry jam. Have a beautiful, blessed day. See you next time. Bye.